Hello everyone! Today, let us talk about on how to create group frequency distribution table. When we can use group frequency distribution table? Okay, we can use group frequency distribution table if we have quantitative data. If we are going to organize uh, a quantitative data like ratio data or interval data into table. Okay, let us uh, know first the steps on how to create group frequency distribution table. The first is we're going to determine the range and the range is the highest score minus lowest score. Second, we're going to determine the classes or the groups you know, in our table and uh, as a rule of thumb, we can use the storage formula and according to the stor uh, storage, we have the number of classes is equal to 1 plus 3.3 uh, to 3.32 log of n where n is the number of data sets and key is the classes. Now, third is we're going to determine the class width. The class width is the ratio between the range and the classes. Fourth, we're going to determine the lower limit. Then we're going to construct the first class limit and we're going to construct a tally and then construct the frequency of its classes represented by F and <coughs> construct the total frequency of its classes represented by N. However, in this illustration, use Microsoft Excel to organize group frequency distribution table. So now let us open our Microsoft Excel and suppose this is our uh, data set. With this data set, we are going to create a group frequency distribution table. So following the steps, okay, so that the first step is we are going to determine the range. And range is the highest minus the lowest. Or, okay, the maximum, the maximum value is 44 then let us look at the minimum value the minimum of our score is 15 the second step is we're going to determine the classes so the classes is 1 plus 3.32 log of n first we're going to take the log of n the log of uh, 30 okay so we have the result then we're going to multiply this result by 3.32 times uh, log of n so that's around 4.90 and then we'll add this to 1 1 plus okay we need to construct six classes the third step is we're going to determine the class size or the class width okay the, before that let us uh, calculate first the range so the range is the maximum value minus the minimum value okay so that is 29 so now we can determine the class size so class size is range divided by the classes which is 6 so the class size now is 5 okay so let us now do that go to insert click pivot table and then highlight the data set score and replace your cursor anywhere uh, in order to display your output okay click ok and then drag it here the rows the scores and then drag it to the values and as we notice here this is a sum of scores and we're going to change that into count okay and then to create our group to click anywhere of this uh, table and then right click go to group then okay we can start now uh, 15 and then end with 45 now 45 and by 5 as our class size okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 as we uh, calculate our classes we need to have six classes so that's correct and then of course we have the total here the total frequency n and then we have our f or frequency okay so here is now our group frequency distribution table okay so you can add uh, the class mark here okay the class mark uh, the cumulative frequency okay? less than and greater than okay? and we can perform uh, the approximate mean approximate median and uh, approximate mode so that would be all and thank you for watching if you find this video helpful then please 
don't forget to like and share this video and of course uh, subscribe in our YouTube channel Stat for Life channel thank you